Hi, in this video I will show you guys how to find the standard deviation of um, a, a set, a, a very large set of data. Um, I'm looking at example 11 of your in your textbook, uh, chapter 8, example 11. All right. So here you can see that we have all these data. So we have a lot. And the textbook has put the data in um, in a table, right? That that helps us to see the data better, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put this data in a calculator, and I'm going to show you guys how to do exactly that. All right. So here I have my TI-84. I'm not going to put four, five, six, five, three, two, zero, four. I'm not going to put each and every one of them in the calculator, right? Where uh, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this column 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 9. That is the category, right? And let's count how many zeros I have here. I have one zero here, and that's it. So that's how they got that frequency of 1. How many ones do I have here? Again, I only have one one. And for 2, I have this 1, 2, and that's it. That's how they got the 2. For three, let's see, there's one three. Um, there's another three here, another three there. So that's what they, that's how they got the three. And so instead of putting all these values in there, I'm just going to use. Oh, wait a second. I'm just going to use this portion of the table to help me to find my standard deviation. Okay, so let's do that. Um, go to your stat uh, and then go to edit and then put in uh, for your L1 put put in 0 1 2 3 4 put in your first column as your as your uh, in the L under L1 so 0 1 all right, I'm going to pause the video and put the data in there. All right, so as you can see here, I have entered the first column in under L1. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing for my L2. For my L2, I'm going to use this portion, the second column of um, the table, and use that, which is the frequency, and I'll put that down under L2. So uh, when L1 is equal so when zero, I have one, and then I'll do the same thing for uh, I'll do it for the whole entire column. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video, and when I come back, um, the L2 will be filled. All right, so welcome back. Um, I have entered my the frequency under my L2, as you can see on the on the calculator screen. Okay, so uh, I hope you guys have entered the same thing in your calculator. And now what I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to second stat, right? And oh, sorry, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go to stat, and then go to calc, and uh, go to number one. So the list is my L1. That's correct. The frequency list is my L2, so for that I will have to change it. So that's when I go to um, second stat, and I can see a bunch of lists. I'm going to choose my L2 because L2 represents my frequency column. So click L2, enter. So my uh, and then go to calculate. So according to the textbook, uh, the standard deviation, the standard deviation should be 2.23, right? 2.23. Let's bring this over a little bit. So the standard deviation 2.25, right? 2.25. So over here you can see that this is my sigma, right? This is my standard deviation is 2.25. All right. Uh, I hope you guys. 
uh, followed the instructions and good luck.